Guys, feast your eyes out of the class of 1968. This is a rare original paint survivor in mint condition. It's been on display here in the New England Motorcycle Museum for the last five years. It is absolutely beautiful. The engine's been completely rebuilt from the crank up and uh, it is runs and looks like a brand new bike. Just a remarkably well-preserved original. Sounds awesome, looks awesome. Runs awesome, because it is awesome. Let's do a little riding demonstration. Jordan and I are gonna hop on and uh, it is a, it is plenty capable of riding two up. It's got the passenger tanks here. Take it for a little ride. Only 4,150 miles on the original speedometer. Engine's got maybe 50 miles on the complete rebuild. Excellent little back roads cruiser. Four speed transmission. I weigh, two, I weigh about 230 with the gear on. Jordan's probably 125. So it all hauls us around, no problem. Cool trike. Super fuel efficient, these 250s. They're rated for 80 miles to the gallon, if you can imagine that. It's almost like free transportation. It's like they run, they run on air. It's remarkable, this has the original factory paint 56 years ago when it rolled out of the factory. Good job, Jordan. I'll do a little drive-by here. BSA Starfire 250, that's original factory logo there. Original pinstriping, blue, gold, and white, and the original badges. It's a beautiful piece. Bike looks like new, runs like new, but it's not. It's an original 68, just remarkable. Uh, the cosmetics are all original. The engine has been carefully rebuilt. It has 4,151 miles. The engine had been removed from the frame and completely dismantled. The uh, primary was taken off. Um, the cylinder and head came off. You can see it has new gasket Permatex material on the base, on the back, and on the head gasket. New piston, new rings, valve train was serviced, uh, carburetors rebuilt. It's got a new air filter, new oil, uh, clutch was rebuilt. Everything was done on it, and um, it is absolutely beautiful. The engine cases were polished, super clean, oil tight, runs like brand new. It's about as good as it was brand new. It really uh, 
be hard to improve on this. And I love the original paint classics to find any 56 year old bike with original paint, especially a 250 is uh, few and far between because these were usually ridden heavily by youngsters and um, put a lot of miles on them and, and uh, you know, worn into the ground. This is one that, that stood the ides of time and, and just, it's a survivor that's been carefully and meticulously serviced and, and, and detailed and maintained for many years. So if you're looking for a kick-ass BSA to add to your collection, your ship just came in. You see, these are the original 56-year-old. You can see the patina on them. They're a little bit cracking if you can zoom in. The original factory badges, um, or decals, excuse me, on the original factory paint job is just absolutely remarkable. So the original anodizing on everything and on the badges, it's just unbelievable. Inside the tank looks as good as the outside. The uh, tires were replaced in 2016. Uh, the Chang Changshin rear tire and front tire, period correct style rear tire um, and tubes. So she's a beauty. Guys, original matching numbers, B25, B3410. S on the engine. Can you read the frame number off the VIN frame number? Yep. So it says it says B25. I mean R25B3410S. Original matching numbers BSA Starfire 250 in their original paint livery. Good luck finding a nicer one. Most of these, like I said, were were ridden in the ground. This one's uh, like a time capsule. If you have any questions about it, give us a call 860-454-7021. Jordan, did you read the VIN number right uh, on the frame? Uh, yeah, I accidentally read it wrong. I don't have my glasses on, so go ahead. It is a B. B. It's, yeah, I read it as an R, but it is a B. It's a B. Okay, so it's a B25, B3410. Yes. So it's a perfect matching number. It's okay. Hey, you can't blame me. He couldn't even read it at all. right, all. that's okay. I don't even remember our phone number. We've been out here in the, in, the, in the heat all day long, and I don't think you've had lunch, so nope. we had a little blood sugar going on here. But um, very cool classic BSA that uh, was on home, at very at home here in the New England Motorcycle Museum. Uh, we're, it's, it needs to find a new home. Dave decided to sell it, one of our benefactors, and it's up for sale. So good luck bidding on it. God bless America and long live the queen.